how can you bring this team to the next level? Well, I mean, again, it's just, you know, there's going to be a process that we go through to try to make sure that, uh, you know, we're putting a good, uh, solid winning product out on the field. So um, that's going to be the goal. We're kind of far away from getting to that point. You know, season's um, far enough away, um, but the work has started. So we got to get a good uh, staff in place. We got to get, get to uh, evaluating our players and get a chance to look at the players that will be available and then into the draft. So it starts with building the team and trying to make sure we get the guys uh, here that we know um, fit what we're trying to do and compete at a high level. I asked Bob about that list. He said he always keeps in his back pocket of head yeah. coaching candidates. And he said you were on there when you were the defensive coordinator kind of moving up through the ranks. How much and how early on did you know that you wanted to work with him potentially at this job or in the future, at least when you guys were together? Yeah, I mean, when we were together, we'd have a lot of philosophical you know, conversations about um, team and team building and things that we either – uh, we're currently doing or things that maybe we thought you know we would do differently or whatever it was so um, I think we've always kind of had that chemistry together where uh, we knew we were kind of on the same page. You've said the right things about just one day at a time one day at a time got to grind but you know the perception that comes with a Patriots logo and then the Lions logo there have been losing seasons here this team has been moving in an upward trend how can you change a perception? Well, I mean, honestly, perceptions, the only thing that's really going to uh, happen there is just, you know, when we get out on the field on Sundays in the fall, and uh, hopefully that's where, uh, you know, we'll start to see some uh, improvement. When you saw Josh McDaniels yesterday uh, get cold feet, Bob said there was zero worry about that. You knew this was the job for you, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a tremendous opportunity, you know, and I think for uh, for myself and my family and um, to have a ownership uh, with the Fords and, and to be here to work with Bob uh, it was a pretty, pretty quick, easy decision.